Welcome back to the South African Morning. Now, the University of Pretoria is celebrating quite a milestone in veterinary health care and rhino conservation. Its veterinary science faculty has performed South Africa and, in fact, Africa's first successful CT scan on a live rhino. To tell us all about it, I'm joined by veterinary dentistry specialist and uh, maxillofacial surgeon, Professor Gerard Steenkamp. Uh, Gerard, this is a huge milestone, and as I've just mentioned in my interview, Intro. But talk us through the experience of performing the CT scan. Doctors can barely keep human beings still on the bed, and now you had to do it on a rhino. Good morning, Rufi, and good morning to your um, listeners and viewers. Yes, it was a milestone for us. Um, I think we, a few years ago, did some CT scans on, on very small baby rhinos that um, was... Um, brought to us after their mothers were poached. But this is certainly the first time we've done adult rhino. And as you mentioned, the logistics about moving a one-ton animal uh, in and out of a CT scanner is quite uh, significant. So we fortunate or unfortunate, but our, our patients have to sleep. So they don't sit with the same anxiety problems that uh, human doctors sit with in their patients. So our patients sleep, but yes, to then lift this one-ton animal to have a bed for a one-ton animal to keep it still and then uh, go through the CT machine is quite an achievement. Why is this important, uh, Prof? I think many viewers will be wondering why a rhino would need to get a CT scan. Uh, what are we trying to achieve here in terms of innovation and improving the health care to uh, the well-being of animals? Rufiwe, I think the, the main thing here is we want to afford these animals the same kind of treatment that any other being can have. So in this specific case, Oz, um, we suspected him to have a dental uh, infection. Now, if you go to your dentist, it's quite quick for them to make a radiograph and you can see the problems um, situated around that tooth. And with a rhino, it becomes quite problematic. Their jaw bones are quite thick. And to take a normal radiograph, we cannot have a, a radiograph plate that goes inside the mouth. So we have to keep the plates outside of the mouth. And therefore, we get a lot of superimposition of all structures. So it's quite difficult to make an accurate diagnosis using that technique. Um, secondly, when we extract a tooth in a rhino, even in a horse, the complications are quite significant. So we have to be 100% sure of our diagnosis and do the correct treatment in order to um, allow for these complications later in life. And w once a tooth ex is extracted, for instance, in them, you get movement of the teeth either side of that tooth and it closes that gap or tries to close that gap. And so we can get food impactions and it just leads to other complications, which means this animal will need to be anesthetized several times throughout its life. And therefore, we have to be 100% sure before we embark on this. Right. So this is the first of what I'm assuming will be many uh, procedures for uh, many animals around the country. Are there any concerns, though, Prof, that there are perhaps not enough resources to be able to afford all animals at the same kind of effective treatment? I think that is something that is not unique to animals. I think we in a country where unfortunately um, not every patient is always going to get the correct treatment or the ideal treatment. And that is exactly the same. Um, humans, again, there are hospitals, specialist hospitals all over the country. And there are very few places that have CT scanners for dogs and cats. And when we go to the large animals, there are even fewer still that can accommodate large animals. But there are none, as far as I know, in the country that will accommodate something as big as a rhino. So uh, we are very privileged, although our equipment is quite old and it's literally on its last legs, um, we are quite privileged that we still have the facilities where we can help these individuals. 
Professor Gerard Steenkamp from the University of Pretoria uh, talking us through a milestone of performing a CT scan on a rhino, the first procedure of its kind, not only in South Africa, but on the rest of the continent as well. And obviously, there will be some efforts to afford all animals around the country the same kind of health care.